chain? Hello? Oh, it's a throwing object. Oh, okay. Electric Blitz is effective for doing puppets. Get out if you're not a stalker. Cool. I don't like being called a stalker, though. I gotta admit. That definitely doesn't uh, fill me with too much happiness. Another Moonstone. Oh, ow! I'm kind of just having to poke him with my, uh, with my poke attack right now. These little robot here kind of reminded me of uh, Detroit Become Human a little bit, and it's making me a little bit sad. Okay, we can go further into the factory there. Looks like that metal... Is that metal heated up, or is that the color of the... That's just the color of the pipe. Okay. Um, I'm going to go check around the other way, because we might be able to lower it from the other side. What this? Oh. I just had a sudden little... Br oh, fuck. Hi, how are you? Well, that's upsetting. Ow. All right, these hit hard. There we go. What do we got in here? Is this a safe? Ooh, what's this? Salamander dagger. <gasps> what this, what this? Salamander dagger does fire attack. Gains more power from advance. Can we get a good look at this? Ooh, I'm gonna keep that on for now. Is Revenge of the Crash Test Dummy? No, I've always treated Crash Test Dummies with respect though. I you find it? It's pretty good. I'm actually really enjoying it. It's uh, it's pretty linear so far, but it controls really well. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. It's like something's gonna jump out any second. Ooh. It's okay, pal. Gemini's looking out for you. Thank you, thank you. I like the material that the game has as well. It's definitely up there. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say it's top three. My first favorite being uh, Remnant. If anyone's ever played that. Get over here. Oh, I'm glad I did that. I wouldn't have seen that hole otherwise. Oh, hello. All right, keep an eye on that. None of that, my good sir. Oh, there's a few of them. I'm so dead. Yep. All right. Fair. Oh. <laughs> I would recommend you stop dying. You know what, Roll? I'll do that just for you, my friend. You slutty little bitch. There we go. Yeah, I'm taking a little bit too much damage from these guys, but I'm not sure if there's much I can do about it. Belford Shock Cartridge. Absolutely equip that. New piece of gear. Hey, 69% weight. As the weight of your equipped items increase, your movement speed and stamina recovery speed slow down. When you reach the weight limit, it slows it slows down your speed. We're slightly heavy no matter what. Right, we need to level up our stamina the next chance we get. Oh, another hidden moonstone. We might be able to farm the moonstones off of these guys. Dear Mr. Vanini, as per your orders, I conducted the quality investigation on the ergo supplied by the alchemist. Of course, it was done secretly. Certainly, the quality of ergo was getting worse over time. I doubt, uh, I don't doubt the alchemist, but the decrease in quality is too widespread to call it a coincidence. At this rate, this quarter's puppets will have a high chance of defects. Okay, right. According to the reliable source, the high-level alchemists are running ego... I keep wanting to call it ego. Ergo production experiments lately using another method. Personally, I think the secret experiments have something to do with decrease in ergo quality. Are they ringing out the bodies of discarded puppets in the barren swamp or something? Nobody's ever complained about my inches wink wonk. Damn, what's that like, huh? What's it like to have a perfectly satisfactory junk set? Uh, well, I can't go back. I have to keep going this way. Well, that's not terrifying. Cool. <laughs> oh, there's nowhere to go but down, huh? That, that's that's amazing. Are you sure I can't potentially go up from here? Oh, hello, ladder. Please stop it. Ow, that's my face hole. You're bludgeoning. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way out of here once you come down here, which is fine, I guess. Okay, we'll carry on. Bit like a tuna can. Doesn't hit the bottom, but scrapes the fuck out of the... Sun. Oh, jeez, it's Christmas, dude. I don't, I don't know what to say to that. I'm going to jump on this box that definitely is not a boss fight. Oh, it's not a boss. Oh, well, this is gonna suck balls, isn't it? Hmm. Nope, that doesn't go through the shields. Hmm. I thought maybe I could pull one of the shields off. Let me swap weapons. Maybe I can set them on fire and actually do a little bit of damage from there. Hmm. Ow. This ain't going well, I gotta admit. Why are you kicking me in the dick? 
Let me do it. Yes! Ah! Uh. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Fuck off. <laughs> Legion caliber. Nice. Legion arm modification part. Ooh, it's another thing that we can use. There we go. Ooh, we got a motivity crank. Nice. We can um upgrade even further. Huge. Stargazer activated. Yuck, yuck, motherfucker. I miss so much of your playthrough today. Why is it called Lights of P? Uh, cause uh, the character I'm playing, we're playing Pinocchio. I can't get in through there. Ha ha ha. Okay. I would guess that that is the boss. <laughs> Does the nose get bigger? Well, I, have, I there is a mechanic where you've got to lie in the game and the nose doesn't seem to be getting bigger as far as I'm aware. My sword definitely isn't either. Please don't die. Oh my god, that was a lot of fall damage. Right, I am going to teleport back to the hotel and do some upgrades. You've moved. You're not allowed to do that. Stay in one spot. You're going to the factory to save Mr. Vinny, right? Yep. He's the richest man in Krat. Woo! A little eccentric. The rich eat the rich. A good person. I heard he went to shut the factory down. Hmm. I hope he's safe. I hope so too. I see something glowing in the background. Of your uh, of your shop. Hold up. That's caught my interest. I organized this place according to the rules, so don't touch anything. Okay. Upgrade. My great sword. Uh, so we get an extra 12 damage. Uh, we don't have Crescent Moonstones now. We can level up some of our other weapons. I think the only one I would even want is probably probably the fire dagger so we have a second uh a second weapon uh alter handle is that it motivity crank there we are we have one of these yeah so our our sword can get a um get an a rating for motivity giving us an extra 11 damage as well yeah our, our vigor is at uh is at uh uh five we should upgrade this Look at this. Look how quickly I can shift. Duh, 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 Uh, I think there's a trophy for assembling a new weapon, so let me do that real quick. Let's just do that. Weapon assemble randomly. Ah? There we go. <laughs> there we go. So basically, I just swapped the handle and the, uh, blade about. We'll leave that. We'll never use it, but it's another trophy. I'm gonna play the piano, just for you guys. Ding dong! Ah? I'm so good. All right, let's get let's head back out to the uh to the factory. Ow! Ha! Oh, ho, ho! that was sick! I exploded him! Yay! I thought Kix was afraid Zell would ban them for being poor. Oh yeah, we're not we're we're fuck poor people. Have you ever just tried getting richer? Just get more affluent, bitch. Okay, so I can't actually go through that pipe. Um, let's go down the ladder then. Oh, this just goes into the area I wanted to do the last time. All right, that's fine. Ugh, full of corruption. Puppet of the future. Ah, oh, right, give, give me a mo. No riffraff in this chat, only aristocracy. True, true. Where's my 1% at? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stab the golem of the future. I am a little bit worried about this corruption because I feel like I'm going to be fighting on a, on losing terrain. Fuck it, I'll give it a go. Okay, so this just acts as poison then. By the looks of it it doesn't look like i've got anything that can get rid of corruption and i've also got to be careful about the sheer amount of damage this guy's doing i think i'm i think i'm in over my head over here can i ignore him for now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pick up this don't mind me oh a booster glaive all right we'll check that animo when i'm not getting you know fucking stepped on let's make sure to pick up everything here and then bounce out the fact that you can bounce out from a boss arena is actually kind of cool i'm gonna hit a moonstone thank you i'm gonna die to poison if i'm not careful bye You're you dead. stupid bot your friends are dead your family yeah dead. your yeah. pets are being skinned alive your mom's a yeah whore. you suck at life yeah the take that idiot you. you're going to hell live with it game over it's fucking Dumbass. Did I have two ways to go here? I think I might have. Let's check down. Let's check down the pipe first. Yo, love. Can you fucking not? They see me rolling. Oh, hello. Two very different ways to go. One full of poison, one full of fire. I'm going to go back over this way and ma just make sure that I didn't miss anything. Entertain me while I eat. I'll be your dancing monkey, I guess. Ooh, e. Ooh, ah, ah. Ting tang. 
Walla Walla Bing Bang. Uh, oh, right. This is where I fought the uh, twin shield guy. Right. And I got a different weapon. Cool. Right, right, right. Okay. Now, now I remember where I'm at. All right, chat. Which way are we going to go? Poison Hell Pit or Fires of Death? First of all, though, I got a new toy. That looks absolutely awful. I'm going back to my sword. This girl looks like one of the uh, animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's. I haven't played the game because I don't know. I don't know which one it's called. SpongeBob! I'm trying. I'm trying to be careful. I swear. Okay, that's not good for me. I don't want to fight on this small of a platform. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Just die, please. All right, I'm fine. Hello, soul butterfly. Are you around here? There you are. No, I guess I'll just have to take being poisoned for the... Oh, God. Oh, uh, ow. I hate them. The fighting styles remind me of Elden Ring. I don't know. It feels similar. See, I've, uh, it's very akin to uh, the Soulsborne-esque games. For me, it reminds me of Bloodborne. Oh, I think we're done with the poison area, by the way. I think that's literally it here. All right, fire pits of hell. Let's go. Wait for it. Yeah. Uh, let me save here. Okay, I'm fine. I didn't, um, no, no, it's fine. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah, we'll just guard here. Okay, okay. Making progress. Making progress. One little, one little ball at a time. I'd like to know who's throwing these balls down this cavernous hallway. I gotta admit, bit of a dick move on their part. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's not ideal. Oh, fuck! All right, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Someone cast Fireball. Quite literally. Honestly. The, the worst thing about this Fireball is that it has a whole bunch of limbs inside of it. Making it a very, um, a very disgusting type of Fireball. I kind of want to check the end of the hallway just to see if there's a way I can stop the Fireballs from coming. I didn't get stuck on the wall. You can't prove it. Fucking get wrecked. <laughs> Get absolutely annihilated. Ooh, a fire axe. Ooh, I actually don't mind that. That looks kind of cool. I like the fireballs. I like the fireballs, just not the limb part. Aha, looks like we finally found the lever to lower this red pipe. Huzzah! Lower! Lower the pipes! Motherfucker! It sure did. Like a pipe <laughs> that fit. Idiots, you know? You know what? Fair enough, uh, Jiminy. What's with the creepy poster? What? Don't you like Mr. Monopoly having two children? We make tomorrow! That's slang for preggers. I don't cough medicine that tastes horrible, but it works. You know what? You know what? As long as it works. As long as it works. I have a really weird thing with cough medicine in the UK because cough medicine is made to taste good for children because that's just how it's designed. Um, it's, to, it's to incentivize children taking it. I like the taste of cough syrup. It's giving Uncanny Valley. I'm not familiar with Uncanny Valley. Not gonna lie, one of these is gonna fall down. Yep, of course. <laughs> you can't, you can't trick me like that. I don't know if I should be bummed or not. Now that Kix has a blackmail worthy pick of me, and now no, it's not safe for work, you weirdo. Can you blame me for thinking that immediately? If you say blackmail worthy pick of me, my immediate thought is you helicoptering your cock. Ugh, doctor's confessions. Let's have a look here. My name is Clark Shaw. People call me Dr. Curel. I intend to confess my sins. I made innumerable medicine sales under the guise of it being a curel. Oh, what a surprise. The curel is fucking bullshit. At first, even I was unsure about my experiment. Early on, the cure really was effective in neutralizing the petrification disease. And why would the great alchemist uh, records be wrong? I know I stole it, but I perfectly followed the manufacturing process. My cure was perfect, until it wasn't. But what went wrong? I dare not record uh, what the ones who got treatment turned into. That was literally hell. And when I realized that I was the gatekeeper who opened the doors, I ran away. How can I atone for my sin? I only tried to treat patients and earn a few extra coins. I'm dying, and that is my penitence. I also have the petrification disease, but I'm not, gonna, uh, but I'm not getting the cure. I'd rather turn to stone 
turn to stone and freeze to death. Boy, this game is cheery. Uh, <laughs> have you seen this eccentric? Okay. The Uncanny Valley is a term used to describe the relationship between the human-like appearance of a robotic object and the emotional response it evokes. In this phenomenon, people feel a sense of unease or even revulsion in response to humanoid robots that are highly realistic. Ooh. Have you seen this eccentric? Hot off the press this month again. This month's eccentric is Mr. J. Oh God, I can't do the Harley Quinn voice. A gentleman who caused a stir by marrying a puppet. Oh, oh, okay. Of course that would be a thing. Is it because the custom made puppet is so beautifully made? Or that Mr. J's peculiarities, even what he was unaware of, suddenly burst. Mr. J fell in love with the maid puppet at first sight, and then they got married even in the face of his family's opposition. But the lover's secret wedding faced ruin. The enraged family stormed in. The husband was confused. The puppet bride was greatly damaged. She clearly had a soul. We loved each other. Gentleman J, who became his family's headache, still makes the same claims. He's even fixing his bride and redoing the wedding. Ooh, okay. Down the ladder. Oh. All puppets must die. Oh, it's the only way to... Uh, are you... Are you... Are you okay? All puppets must die. Every single one. Oh, lovely. I, I, I hear the sound of springs inside you. You're a puppet too. Nah, nah. You can't fool me. All oh, puppets must die. Oh. Kill the puppets. Please, I don't, I don't want to fight. Oh, okay. I guess we're doing this, huh? Oh, is this the eccentric that tried to marry a puppet? It might actually be. This guy is off his fucking rocker, that's for sure. We got this. I love his mask. It's really a uh, uh, Floydian. Is Floydian the right word? I'm not even sure. I'm not liking his sword style though, because it is it is fucking me up. Oh, get fucked, dick nips. Ah! <laughs> it's okay. No one can. Down you go, champ. Poor guy. Oh, I got an outfit. Survivor's hunting apparel. I do like this outfit more than our original one. Beat his ass out, already done. Get more affluent beach. <gasps> I could have my mouse mask. I'll keep it off for now because I want to keep the uh, the face uh, shown, but I do like this outfit. Oh, this was the room that, that was locked off. Oh, okay. Well, that that's nice. We know, we, well, we know where this is now. Too bad I'm too wide to enter my femboy arc. You're never too wide to enter a femboy era. Femboys know no uh, size restrictions. I can't spell. If it's any consolation, I can't read. So, all right. So who are these guys? Seem to follow me everywhere. Hi. Who are you? Pleased to see you, my stalker friend. Hello, Red Fox. You made it all the way here. I'm Bob oh, I'm Black Cat. You've got talent. I've never seen you before, but who cares? Hi. This may well benefit our former client. Oh, how so? Did you catch that subtle whiff of money in the air? Moneybags himself, Lorenzini Vanini, is inside this factory this very moment. Yep, that's why I'm trying to trying to find him. We had to deny his ridiculous request in person just to be sure it wasn't a joke. All we could do was laugh. Okay, so you have seen him. Up if you're heading in there. He is the richest man in Krat. Or so they say. Who knows? Maybe he's handing out bags of money to lift his spirits. <laughs> okay. That seems unlikely. No way are we do that. What was the request then? Best of luck to you, my friend. You know what? Thank you, Fox. Not many people want to wish me good luck. People want to see me fail an awful lot. Are you carrying the latest edition of Vanini's landmark guide? Probably not. Popular non-fiction work in crafts these days. Maduro wrote the actual guide, but Vanini published and financed it. Okay. It goes for a premium at the shop, but Maduro might not get his cut. He went missing recently, which of course made that volume more popular than ever. Yeah, that is how it goes. You can get all three volumes collectors want that you can get four. No, 5,000 for it at the shop. Okay. But you're in luck. I have a conscience and a powerful sense of self-preservation. I'll let this one go for 500. That's a good investment. Don't I mean, I'm going to buy it because I have the money, but... You had this, and the price is a steal. 
Let me know if you have any interest. You know what? Let me think about it. Nah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy it right now. There's a warning band attached to this. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, this is a banned book, apparently. Uh, this book has been banned. If found, please report it to the city. Reading banned books will result in punishment. Are you sure you want to read it? Yes. You've seen some uneven handwriting here. You were warned, but you're reading a forbidden book. You're a bad person. Well, you're reading it, so this is what you get. The Rose Bloom at the Rose Estate. Don't know the rest of it. The end. I feel like I got scammed. We've still got a way up that way we haven't explored. I'm, go I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way for now. Push the button. Oh, honestly, I should never leave my house at this point. Honestly, would recommend. Oh, well, that's, that's more than I was willing to deal with. That's all right. We'll just keep... We'll keep the Dark Souls approach of just uh, poking these guys from afar. God, this place is a fucking labyrinth. I think we've got another shortcut here to a room I've already been in. Yeah, so I know where this is. What this? Oh, we used the Trinity key. This is terrifying. Question of the day. Did this factory worker ever think he would be destroyed like a puppet? Okay. <laughs> very, very nervous. All right. I'm, I, I mean, I'll bite. What is this? Recreate one. You who opened the door, be one with the great ones. Okay. Maybe I need those three books. Got anything in here? Well, that, that seemed a bit excessive, but sure. Blue Bud's tailcoat and quartz. Hey, we've got another piece of quartz to upgrade ourselves. Oh, fuck yes. Hello? Oh, hell yeah. I'm all pris and proper now. Be one with the great ones. All right, this is going to... Okay, that's going to bug me. That's going to bug me. But we'll, we'll leave it alone for now. I'm trying my hardest to breathe. It's just in and out. In, out. in, out. Shake it all about. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. I guess since I got a bit of quartz, I can also... Um, I'll just quickly go back to the inn. Stick that quartz in me and we'll also do... We'll get some level ups in. I've returned to the world of mortals. Well, I'm not mortal. I'm a puppet, but... Father! Can you stick me in the electrical chair? I think I'll go for the dodge, realistically. Then we can put anything of this into there. Let's get... I'll, I'll go with increased attack of favor arts. Bye, father. Sophia is so hot, man. Okie dokie. What are we going to do? Could level up our health a bit more. I think I kind of want to just get our stamina up by two more stages. Right, back to the uh, back to the culvert. Trying to keep a mental map of everywhere I've done already is, uh, is proving to be rough. All right, big red pipe. I don't like the ones that crawl. I, I, I find the ones that crawl so freaky. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. And that's why they're creepy, guys. Well, it looks like I can drop down into here. There we go. I like this electro arm. This electro arm's really helping me out here. Oh, fuck me sideways. Okay, it doesn't look like this guy's particularly too weak to uh, electricity. Fucking get perfect countered, idiot. Bye bye. Swordsmanship Master Amulet. Ooh. New thing? Hold up. New thing just dropped? Reduces weapon durability consumption. Shit thing just dropped? Push the button. What's this? Push the lever. Well, this is doing something. I'm hearing bubbling. Maybe it's gotten rid of some of the toxic waste around the area. That would be ideal for me. Ah, yeah, it has. It's gotten rid of all of the toxic goo down there. Okay. Right. We can actually fight this guy now. All right. Fuck bucket. Time for round two without your poison bullshit. You're just the last giant recolorized. Okay, this looks fairly straightforward. This looks really straightforward. Are you just gonna... You just gonna take it, buddy? Oh, the double foot! That's not allowed. How dare you? Woo! Down you come, chum! Bye bye I'm here, the dick nips. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was my feelings you hurt. Bye bye. <laughs> Take that foul fiend. All right, well, that was simple. We got another bit of quartz as well to upgrade Pinocchio. Well, that guy was a little bit underwhelming, I got to admit. But, you know, you know, like it, like, it, like I said, we're still early doors. I'm sure there's going to be some enemies that kick my dick in. Did I get a monster? Say yes. I mean, that just feels like a rigged vote here. It feels like you want me to say a certain answer. Do these two have anything new to say now that I've killed their Goliath? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Have you had time to read it? Yeah, I read it. It's the first volume I wrote, so go easy. That—that's what you wrote. By the 
way, I need to mention something before it slips my mind. Oh, okay. It's a shame that the original author went missing, but I fear you misunderstood this commitment. I am willing to sell my newest book for 500. No refunds, of course. <laughs> That's a I hate him. But look on the bright side. That volume of the series is not I hate this one. Life. I like the fox. Hate this one. I got scammed out of 500 uh, ergo. Okay, the only other way we've got to go is down this way. I, have to stop them. I assume that's Vanini. Okay. Looks like we're in some sort of a uh, refinery. This is where, like, um, uh, in the lore, from what we've been told, this is where that the puppets get made. Beware of handling corrosive chemicals. Be careful not to melt your fingies. Don't melt your fingies. Oh, this is the same guy we fought before. I'm not as worried now. I kind of wish I knew what the, um the follow-up button was for when I do a perfect guard. Because there's a follow-up attack, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> oh, well, there he is. There's a guy up there. <laughs> I thought I heard him again. Fuck me. All right. I believe in treat yourself so deeply. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. You only get one life, so like, you know, be brave, suck a dick. All right, give me back my ergos. Ah, uh, yeah, I've, I've already met them, don't worry. One scammed me out of 500 ergos, so I completely feel your pain, my guy. Let's ignore that fire twat for a hot second, and we'll go have a look, uh, we'll go have a look around up here. Oh, there was a stargazer here this whole time. Okay. Actually, <laughs> goose. I'm not a goose. Honk! Okay, I might be a goose. Everyone play dead. Don't play dead. I don't want a bunch of dead chatters. Do you know how weird it would be if I'm just sat here playing Lies of P with, like, you know, a bunch of dead bodies next to me? Just be a bit odd. All right, my dude. What's up? I didn't want to. I love how this guy looks. Hold on. Petto's a friend of yours. Did he send me? Mm hmm. I, I'm, uh, you sure did? Fine. Please help me find my butler, Pulcinella. He's Pulcinella. A and a friend. Yeah, sure. Those stalkers were supposed to be working for me, but, uh, well, they bolted and left me to my fate. That was not helpful. My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't okay. seen him since. Pulcinella He's probably dead. Let's be real. I'd hate to lose him. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... I will. I will, I promise. For my butler. I'd consider it a personal favor and... Wait, I didn't kill him, did I? No, he wasn't there. He wasn't the little manservant that I killed earlier. The little boss fight in the room. Before all this, uh, this chaos, Fuoco was the puppet in charge of the furnace. But he changed. He was a standard Fuoco. once. Okay. Now, not so much. I'm told... Fuoco and Puccinella. ...army of puppets and marching them on the cathedral... How did this nightmare come to be? Okay. Please. We'll keep an eye out for them. Doesn't look like it. Stop him before he does any more harm. Is that the greatest showman? Oh my god. He really does look like him, doesn't he? <laughs> oh. Oh my. This is the greatest show. You should take that guy's hat. You know what? I should. Hold up. I got you. Twinning. <laughs> Okay, well, we gotta keep an eye out for Puccinella, but in the meantime, we'll keep uh, we'll keep on exploring over this way. Get the fuck out of Don't here! Don't you fucking throw shit at me, you abhorrent whore! I wonder what happens if I fall into that vial of green. The puppet cannot refuse the grand covenant imprinted upon manufacture. It must obey the creator's orders and cannot harm humans. But look at that puppet that was once called Fuoco. Is the grand covenant flawed? The once faithful puppet now kills humans. It creates puppets instead of fire. It obeys something else other than humans, as if it's someone is controlling it, 
Right, as a mind of its own, as if there's a king of puppets somewhere. Ooh, I hope that's the plot. Is it pretending to be human? Is it a simple defect? This requires further investigation. It's surprising, Fueco. Uh, I keep wanting to say Fuecoco, as in the Pokemon, and it's gonna, it's gonna bug me. It's gonna keep happening. Fueco's actions were not simple obedience, but faith. Fueco worships something as a god. I heard there's a king of puppets on Rosa Isabella Street. That must be what's controlling the puppets of Krat. But a puppet having a human ego is a problem for another dimension. <laughs> there is still a puppet secret that I don't know about. Ergo is probably the key, but those guys are awakening like humans more quickly as the days go by. Okay. Okay. The plot thickens. Ashley, thank you for the care package. I'm currently balancing on some beans right now. <laughs> Thank you for the care package. I'll have a coffee right now, as I'm not doing anything in particular right now. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> a bit late, you think? <laughs> Let's just make sure we're careful this time. I will, however, clot all of these guys. Oh my god, I've got like 10k uh, ergo. I should probably use it. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Are you stupid or something? I couldn't remember what the jump button was. Ow, stop it. My feelings. Boop, boop. Workshop Union Radiation Converter. All right. All right, if I somehow fall in the muck again, I will cry. Okay, I may have forgotten to click the stick. Don't judge me. <laughs> don't, don't you fucking judge me. I just want the collectible. I want the thingamabob over there. There we go. Come at me, biznitch. <laughs> I'm judging so am I. You know what? I'm glad to see you guys can follow instructions. Gosh, this gets rid of overheat, electric shock, decay, and corruption. Oh, right. I should have probably noticed that earlier, but your boy's a little bit dumb. All right, do we have anything down here? This looks like it's going to a boss room. I've played enough RPGs to know what a boss room looks like. Before we do that, we have 12k to use. Let's go level up. Make sure we've got everything ready. And then uh, then we'll go in. I think there's an item that lets you teleport faster. I forgot what it was called. It looks like a golden watch. Oh, the moon face. Right. Teleport the to hotel or last stargate they used. We'll just put that right there, shall we? There we go. Thank you. We won't have to run back each time now. Right, let's use all of the ergo in our back pocket. Oh, we've gotten so much, uh, so much much stuff is actually kind of unreal first try getting a boss doubt no 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 it's that sort of doubt that uh uh makes you lose points let's get our capacity up to 15 and i'm gonna put motivity up by another four points actually is that what i want to do yeah it is what i want to do but now my stamina should recover a bit faster in addition to a whole bunch of other things um we did get another bit of quartz so let's go pump that into my very being we need to add something else into here lower the damage received while dodging that's probably the best thing we can do i would say oh we've opened up phase two. Oh, we can get another amulet slot that would be nice um quick question an actual legitimate question for um for people who played this game am i able to unlock everything on here or do I have to be very picky and choosy? Because if I can unlock everything, I won't care as much. And I can just dunk it into wherever. If it becomes a thing I've got, I've got to pick and choose, then uh, I'll actually have a bit more thought into it. Don't know, I haven't unlocked everything, but I think it's limited. That would make sense. You got this belief. Whether it's not misplaced, we will see. Okay, yeah, the big red guy doesn't respawn. Speaking of, actually, we got, we did get a new item off of him. There we are. Yeah, the, uh, the standard radiation converter. I should put that on. It also gives us a resistance to overheat as well, which will be quite handy considering, you know, we're in the fire area. All right, we got this. We're not summoning throughout this playthrough. Uh, we tried it once because I wasn't sure what it was, but I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be summoning throughout the, about this. Open sesame. Come at me, Fue Coco. I was always more of a Quaxley kind of guy. That's a lie. I fucking hate Quaxley. Oh God, I'm getting very Bioshock vibes out of this guy. Hello. Oh, that was your cock. My bad. I thought that was your face. King of Flame, Fue Coco. Ah! Ah! 
Ow, put electric paper on. Let's just take this nice and slow. Okay. Man, it's got moves. This guy is fast as fuck, dude. What are you doing? Are you going to throw a pipe at me? Ow, ow, ow. What the fuck? You shot Black Tar out. Uh, I didn't have enough stamina or bait or whatever for the for the perfect counter. Oh god, please stop. Fuck me. Alright. Yep. <laughs> yep. Fair enough. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. It's okay. It's okay. When I said when I said I get a dumb first try, I meant this try. Okay. His cock is his cock is on fire. He's pulling his cock out. All right, we're gonna do it this time. Watch this. Watch this. Easy. Right in the butthole. See this? Oh, let's go. Well, this is going a lot better than last time. <laughs> that went a lot better. All right. Booyah. Pulled my head out of my ass after I learned the attack patterns. Let's go. Turns out the electrical arm's pretty damn good. Uh, I did get a uh, fire grindstone. I should probably check what that is. <gasps> ooh! Temporarily imbues weapon with fire? Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Imagine your junk on fire and then some weird with a sword stabs you repeatedly. I know, right? No, I was shocking his cock for like a good couple of seconds. Okay, well, that's the way Coco dealt with. I feel like just comparing the two attempts I had at that fight, I feel like I'm far too pensive when approaching certain fights. I need to just get in and just like fuck shit up. That's what I need to do. Oh, hello. What do we have here? A broken butler puppet. Oh, uh, well. I seem to remember someone on the second floor. Think it belongs to him? Yep, we gotta it does. Happen sometime. Now's good. Yep. Ba found a dead puppet. I can't believe I killed that boss second the second try. I'm actually really happy with myself. <laughs> also, friend, uh, I found your dead puppet butler. Um, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't mean to be uh, crass about it, but they dead as fuck. Oh, you're clapping for me. That's the praise I deserve. Ah, you're back, and you found. Oh, dear, Pulcinella. They really did a number on you. They did. They did. Ginella was proof that puppets possess true courage. I will not rest until I have revived him. But oh, whoa. there will be ample time for that. First, I must thank you for a truly heroic piece of work. Thank you, thank you. The factory is ours again. It is. The puppets are going to be in really bad shape after this. Let us return to the hotel and rest while we can. You know what? I'll agree to that. I'll agree to that. I cannot shake the thought of that puppet army. What they meant to do. I wonder if that pathway goes People towards the uh, cathedral. Jeez. People who thought they were safe. But that's for the future to solve. That's for me to solve, thank you. First. See you at Hotel Krat. Arrivederci. Bye. Bye, Benini.